Hi everybody, this is uh, the review on the Lepus Tarot, illustrated by Artem Chernobyl, and it is uh, produced or sold or made by the Witchy Cauldron. Um, I know there's one lady and she's really really lovely, Annabelle from the Witchy Cauldron, and their service is really impeccable. Uh, it took less than two and a half weeks to reach me. Um, I, th I thought it would be about a month, but absolutely very quick delivery, um, exceptional service, and uh, I love it. Thank you so much to the Witchy Cauldron. Now I'm just going to open up I, I don't want to damage the box or the cards. So this is a tip. If you could make something, just make a corner stick out so it's easier to open up, that would be better. I love the other box on the um, tarot, the um, learning tarot cards. That is a beautiful box. It's also got the uh, in capes. So you can open the box much easier. The cards are absolutely beautiful. You can see the other review on those cards um, on my channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot. Just go to the playlist reviews and you can see it. And this is a tuck box. You know I don't like tuck boxes because they do get damaged. Although this was parceled magnif um, magnificently well and easy. And also in this tuck box it hasn't got the little slit at the back like some of mine have, two or three decks. That's a new way of doing it because they do get battered, especially if you use your cards a lot. But luckily I got the card wrap uh, pouch or the cards tarot deck pouch or wrap and um, the purple one and the black one and they were given to me also by Witch's Cauldron. This is the deck. That's the box. It's really tight fit. It's, it's, it looks eerie, but I love them. Okay, let's have a look. The King of Pentacles. So that has to face that way. And go back. This is the form. You can see that the corner is damaged because of that tuck box. Uh, I'll be keeping them in my wrap. Okay, so we've got the wrong way around. So you can go to Witch Cauldron and um, have a look. They've got more decks than just these. Hi everybody, I'm going to do the review on the Lepis Tarot, illustrated by Artem Chernobyl and from the witchy cauldron. It's a tuck box as you can see. All rights reserved by witchy cauldron 2022 witchycauldron.com printed in China. So it is a tuck box and I did show you some uh, details that it was damaged unfortunately and tuck boxes are not my favorites. They get um, um, bashed about much easier and um, yeah uh, but I'll be keeping my cards in the um, sachet uh, for the cards uh, you can see more about that in the little uh, review I've done on that as well they're beautiful now it's got a little uh, quite a thick book with it and it's got um, uh, color pictures of it it's absolutely phenomenal the, the presentation is great. You've got uh, the big or the big arcana as well, like judgment. You've got Archangel Gabriel blows his trumpet and the souls of the dead rise. So you've got a little story. Then you've got the up, upright version, uh, reversed and advice uh, of act or action. Let go of the past. Embrace one's higher calling. Allow oneself to awaken and transform. Don't wait to decide. Make a judgment call. Forgive. Don't fight the or resist. Transformation. Accepted. The wake up call. 
or message from one's higher self. Go with one's intuition. Don't just judge too quickly. So definitely quite an informative book. It's paperback, um, <clears throat> but I like it that the that the cards are coloured. That gives it an, uh, a luxurious um, tint to it. And it gives you an introduction that it's based on uh, A.E. Weight, uh, Wire Weight uh, um, Tarot. And it gives you also a little bit of a story and that there are 87 cards and um, well normal introduction and we've got wands explaining the cups water fire and the swords is air so it's a good deck for uh, beginners as well because the book is quite explicit you've got the reversed cards and what they mean uh, prepare yourself before tarot reading a tarot spread single uh, card um, spread and then you've got a past present future spread the three card spread and then you've got the Celtic cross and that is slightly different than to what I'm used to but are you it's not like this is the one that's underneath it but everybody to their own that's what you're more comfortable with the interpretations of the cards and indicators and then um, closing down after reading. So it's really a, a very informative, especially for beginners. And then it starts with the major arcana. So let's have a look at the um, cards themselves. Now, I they are a little bit dark, and um, that's what drew me to them as well, because you can do shadow work with them. And this is the full, obviously. And it looks like, it, it gives me um, a feeling of a bat or of a rat. Um, I this is also um, very nice for Halloween. You've got the magician. You've got the high priestess. Very simple, uh, very easy for beginners because they've got all the um, uh, the um, symbolism with them. They're very, very easy. There is no uh, geometric signs on them. Uh, there is no numbering on the major arcana, I believe. Yes, there is, but that's dark, and it is woven into the pictures. So if that had been like white or... Um, uh, it is on a little white circle here, but or transparent circle, so you can't really see the numbering on the magician. You can, and on the full, there is a bird going through it. So if it was a dark background and a lighter number, then it would uh, stand out a little bit more. Or even if they had put it behind the em uh, name of the card. So that's the Empress. And here again it is interwoven with the art which i think is a pity they should have done it on the um, bar that's highlighted in a, um, a yellow color a strong bright color especially for beginners because this is a good deck for beginners the hierophant the high priest now i don't see the keys i do see his wand but I don't see the keys for the subconscious and the conscious. There's no pupils either. Doesn't matter if you are um, a mature reader, a seasoned reader, uh, or a seasoned reader. The lovers. The chariot. Oh, I like this one. Look, looks like petals or little hearts. The love, love heals all. The strength card, which is number eight. And that's correct, because sometimes the judgment card is switched out with the strength card. The hermit. 
I really like them. They're really nice for um, pagan festivals or um, even Halloween. The Wheel of Fortune. The Justice card. The Hanged Man. The Death card. Like it. Many colours. Temperance. Here it looks like a half stag, half bat. Here you've got the stag, the devil. Now this is the tower. It's like a headdress um, made. This is his head. And then the crown falls off. The star. The moon. They've got Pisces on here. They haven't got the lobster. The sun. Judgment. The world. And that's the bigger color. Okay, just put them aside. And then we go on to the wands. Where's this, the cups? This might be mixed in. Oh, we've got. Ah, we're doing the. That's the wands. This is the cups. And the swords. I like that one. Pentacles. Then we've got the two of the two of ones. I didn't see the ones. One on his back and one in the tower. The two of cups. The two of swords. Two of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. He's on his own there. The Four of Cups, the Hand of the Divine. The Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords. He's also alone there. The Five of Pentacles. quite unique because you usually see um, the um, two people in the five of pentacles so I wonder why they've left it as one this is the six of wands and here you are together the six of cups and you see they have more people in here not just one the six of swords Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Cups. I like that. 
like the way they've put a key in the cloud. <laughs> you can open your door to your wishes. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. It's very sturdy card. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. The Page of Cups. The Page of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Cups. They forgot the horse. <laughs> or oh, he's forgotten the horse. The Knight of Swords. An eagle. More of an eagle. And the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. They still got included the cat. It's a Siamese here. By the looks of it. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Thank goodness she isn't blue or grey. She's got colour. I thought it was the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Wands. Purple. Blue for water. Green for earth. And red for Pentacles. I would have made the Pentacles green. But she's sitting on a green throne. Anyway, the King of Wands, the Lizard, the King of Cups, so beautiful, and the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, and that was the Lapras. Um, Tarot deck. And it's a really sturdy card, but still flexible. Let's see if how they... I think they might shuffle really well. Yes, they do. They're not edged, and I'm glad the corners are rounded. So really beautiful. They are very much in alignment. They feel great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I think they're amazing uh, cards. They're really colourful. and I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care, stay safe and enjoy your day. Thank you.